here with Northwestern State head soccer coach George Van Linder. Coach, a 2-1 loss to McNeese, uh, making uh, two losses at home at this conference weekend. Uh, you possessed the ball more, took more shots in both games, and including today. Uh, you know, what do you tell your team after just uh, some tough decisions at home here? Yeah, it was tough. You know, I think that's the thing. We played really well to win both games this weekend. I mean, I think both opponents, and uh, all, all people can, can see that. But at the same time, we have to get those results, and we didn't. So uh, we have an uphill climb from here. I certainly am glad I got the team to do that uphill climb, but uh, we've got to work out, uh, cut out for us. We just got to keep working hard. 2-1 loss in overtime uh, to McNeese today. Um, you know, what was the difference? Even in overtime, it seemed like you possessed the ball more, and it seemed like they just were able to come up with the, the, the chances at the end there. Yeah, you know, uh, it, we always knew it was going to be a battle with these guys. It always has been, and, and today was uh, no exception to the rule on that. I think for us, it was just we were a little bit fatigued in the midfield. I probably could have changed it up a little bit and run, run more people in. I don't know if I subbed as many people as I usually do, but uh, certainly we're going to look at the film and see what it is. But I think off the top of my head, uh, just got we probably needed to use our depth a little bit more. From an emotional standpoint, um, you know, how do you get a young team to rebound? It seems like between the Lamar game lost Friday and the McNeese loss uh, today, it seems like they were ready to have more energy, frankly, than McNeese did for most of the game. Um, you know, how do you expect this a young team to bounce back emotionally, especially? Yeah, that, that is a challenge with uh, the younger players, but they and, and the younger team. But I think overall, they've got a. Uh, I think that's the learning process. They realize they've got to put this one behind them and and move forward. We talk about uh, professional sports uh, at any level. The games are real close like that all the time. It comes down to it. Uh, looking at NFL games, for example, and so they've got to put this behind us, and we've got to learn from it as best we can. But we've got to move forward. We can't let this. Uh, uh, we can't let these this weekend have an effect on next weekend unless it's a positive one. Coach, thanks. Thank you.